Hello folks, this is Jeffrey Jr. 3289 here once again. About to play my 90th gameplay of the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. We're going to feature a new deck I made just to finish some of the cards from Unify Mines. Actually, actually an older deck. With a couple of cards from Unify Mines. This is my Whimsicott Card GX Polygon Z Less. And this is the deck I took to the DC Open at the World Championships this past weekend. I'm going to show you the list and then I'll give you a terminal report how I did. And play a game with it. Hope I get a win with this deck. So here it is. So here's Wizard Card GX right here. It does uh, it's 180 HP, 30-type basic one-stage GX. It has a really cool fluffy card. If any of those damage is done to this Pokemon by attack silver coin, I had to prevent that damage. So if they hit us with a big move, they can't. They have a silver coin each time. They don't get it. It's it has it, it gets it gets uh the cancel out. And then for one energy, fairy energy energy ball does 10 damage base, but attack does 30 more damage times the number of energy attached to this Pokemon. So the more energy you attach onto it, the more damage it does. That's why we have Porygon Z is here, so we can attack as much special energy as possible and then get big knockouts. And then the same energy calls as Toy Box GX. Search for deck for up to 5 cards and put them to your hand and that's your deck. So pretty much we can use this just in case we need to get cards we need. If we stall or get that Porygon Z ready to go for turn 2. And then get attached as many uh, special energy as much as possible. Okay, then we play, here's the whole deck right here. Play the one Ditto, which is the old mighty evolution energy. It's a 40 HP basic. Uh, one, uh, once going to before you attack, you may put any stage one for the card from your hand onto this Pokemon to evolve it. You can use this ability during your first turn or the first turn this Pokemon was put into play. So we can use, this is like a, four, a fifth card or fourth Porygon. So we can just get evolved to a Porygon 2 or a Women's card GX or a Baby Women's card as well. So we can get that extra Pokemon out. They play a 313 line of the Porygon Z line. It has 130 HP stage 2 colorless type. It has a ability called Crazy Code. As well as, the, as you attack like, during your turn, before you attack, you may attack a special energy card from one hand to one of your Pokemon. So you get those, you can get those um, mushrooms, uh, energy attachments, special energy attachments, turn one as much take those big knockouts from those big tight team GX Pokemon. Then it's attack those, uh, for three double triple colors, it's trip, uh, tantrum, it 120 damage, but this Pokemon is confused. So we get those key knockouts, we can attack with this one just in case we attack against the Keldeo GX or any Pokemon that uh, prevents the Wizard from GX from attacking. Okay, they also play a 4-3-1 line of the Wizard Card. Here's the baby Wizard Card. This is from um, the new 75 Mines. It has the ability called Prowl. 8 HP Fairy Type Stage 1. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may search your deck for a card and put it to your hand, then shuffle your deck. So we don't get any card we need, like a supporter or energy we need just in case, or just in case I get that key card we need and we'll get stuck. That's all the Pokemon here. Now we're going to do the trainers. We play 4 Custom Catcher. So we, this is our new Guzma, so you play two of them, you can play two at least. If you play one, you draw two, you have three. If you play two, you switch one of your opponent's active branch with an active. So you can get those key knockouts as well, or we can use that just because we don't get a supporter, we can draw cards as well. So now, this is the effect of the rotation, the tech rotation just happened this past weekend. Which was, which is, it was so right in time for Worlds, so most of those cards I explained in my last video are rotated out. Then we play 2 Pokemon Gear 3.0, we look at the top 7 cards in the deck, we repeat a supporter card that you find there and put it to your hand. Shovel the other cards back into your deck. So pretty much we can, uh, since Tabo Lele GX has gone in the format, this is our new way to get supporters, hopefully. It's, not, it's at least better than Tabo Lele because you're not guaranteed to support a 100% of the time, but this is just in case we get it. We play 4 com Pokemon Communication, this is a new search card, this is Ultra Ball and Nest Ball got out of the rotation. Remove a Pokemon from your hand and put it to your deck. If you do search a Pokemon back for Pokemon, we didn't put it to your hand. That's just your deck. So we get those. Uh, let's see, we get that stage two. We don't need. We get that stage set of a boiler with a Cottonies, Porygons, or Ditto Prism Star as well. Then play three red candy to get that uh, choose one of your basic Pokemon play. If you have a stage two card in your hand that evolves from that Pokemon, put that card onto, onto that basic Pokemon to evolve it. You can't use that this card during your first turn or on a basic Pokemon that was put into play this turn. So this is a as you get a Porygon into a Porygon Z. Very quick way to get it. They play 2 reset set, another new card from Unify Minds. Your opponent suffers their hand into the deck and draws a card for each of the remaining opponent's cards. So this is pretty much like, like supporter N for like Fates Collide, but this is only for our opponent and it's an item card, so we can play it many of the copies as possible. But it's very good in the late game, let's say they take wood down, they take money, we can hand, we set them down to a long card, card amount and hopefully stall them from time. They play 3 switch to get those uh, switch to act to the basic bench, let's say we have a Porygon Z that's stuck or anything that's stuck, we just switch it out and bring it out and just start attacking again. They play one of the Lever is a state from the start of state of choice. They attack some non fairy Pokemon, both yours and your opponent's cost colorless more. Whenever any player, player plays an item or supported card from their hand, 
that all fans my car down to the stadium card. So pretty much, if they, uh, they, they we can start with, uh, with this card a lot with the um. The, so let's say, but someone is three hundred attack, Zoran's good into these three hundred attack. It gives them extra energy attachment that they don't need. Then now we go to the supporters. Now we play for Cynthia. Best to draw so far again. Draw seven hand. Draw three six. Draw six. Two Erica Thomas Vitality. If you only have four card, fewer cards in hand, draw three of each card for your opponent to play. For my play, so we draw the six. We can draw the six cards with this card. Get yeah, extra six cards. Then four Lily. Draw two cards to you, you have six. But if you go first, you draw to have eight. Pretty good first turn draw supporter. Now uh, tools. We play one fairy charm. Lightning for the lightning. You put all damage done to the fairy Pokemon discard and statue by attacks for the opponents. Lightning Pokemon GX or lightning Pokemon EX. This is pretty much for the Pika one matchup because I'm going to get TX DX matchup. So let's get them to play that. We just attach it. They can't touch us. Then fairy Troll ability. Same same thing as fairy Troll lightning for anyone that has a or any GX ability that has an ability. So it starts new to new GX. Starts Keldeo GX. It starts um. I don't think that's not really almost anything important. So any, any, any more one attacks that have an ability. It starts off uh, zero or GX as well. Then last fairy charm is fairy charm ultra beast. It's very good for the same abilities, but the same t thing, same thing, but it does for any ultra beast GX or yeah, so it stops but for most stuff, stops the Cephalon, which is the most key matchup. It stops um that pretty much that's it for the most part. Uh the Gano GX is the bait the GX ones. And yeah. Then we play 4 triple acceleration energy for the boss who gives us 3 energy. Or you can attach to our the cuts and pouring on these. 4 with cycle energy is another new card from Unified Minds. It counts as a basic energy, but if it gets a score from play, we put it back in our hands. So let's see how Pokemon gets knocked out, or try to take energy off it immediately. We can just revert, put it back into our hand and reattach it again with pouring on Z or another Pokemon. And then we play 4 unit energy, fighting, dark, and fiery. So it counts, fairy to, uh, counts uh, colors, but it attacks to our Pokemon and fights that. Fighting Dark or Fairy, but only one part one energy at a time. So that's the best for five guys. Hope you enjoy it. So we got a loser cup attacking right away. So let's go to the DC Open matchups. I had a fun time. I started really hot, but then at the end, I, I really plummeted. Just because I didn't really draw any po second Pokemon, and I got knocked out really quickly. So round one, I faced against a Mewtwo, Mewtwo box deck. It was a pretty good game. Pretty good set of mat games. Game one, I took a knockout with the baby Whimsicott. I did 242 with Porygon. I tagged Porygon D2 with twice. And I took a knockout with uh, Baby Musica to finish off with the first Mewtwo. So we went to game one. Game two, I don't think I really threw much, and he just started going off, and then we moved, and then that was a quick game. Game three, we tied. He came with a Bright Tone or Tower GXs. He probably uh Bright Tone or uh, Tower GX. So I could have a Musica to slow down for me. I tagged with Porygon D and the Baby Musica. But we, we couldn't take enough prizes, so we tied that one on one. So I started with a tie all one. And that wasn't too bad. So let's start with game two. Game two, I play against a uh, dark box deck. So game one, I knock out his own attack with Musica. Game two, he dark box units GX, uh, dark units GXs me with Umbreon GX. But then I didn't realize the effect of that first effect of Umbreon GX. So I Erica, I show, I look at, I, I draw, but they call a judge. I receive a double card prize penalty. So he only, he only had to take one prize instead of three. So he took the last prize, and then we move to game three. I flip six heads on what's called GX, uh, JX's ability. I'm like I said, I try to take knockouts with it. But I attached nine energy to Mega Server to knock it out and then took his last six uh, last prizes out. So that was really good. I, so I went all, all one, uh, one on one. So round three, I play against the Bacephalon GX player. So round one, I get the energy attachments. He, she uh, B swings into high energy. Strike attack with the Rubens card. Miss it, I flip heads in the front of the so she has to discard her energy uh, for the attack, and then I attack again like I was um, the stuff on, on B-Swing turn, so now it's a two prize, and she goes to game one. Game two, I started rolling one base six, she was until the stuff knocks it out, and that's, game, that's a quick game two. Game three, I have for, uh, I, knocked, I took two two knockouts, I drew the third trial, all could be on top of my prizes. So, I, that stuck the whole game, and she's discarded like Santa Labs with the Mysterious Treasure. So, I know that Saturday Labs is going to stick with I know that several players only play one on Saturday Labs, not two. And then, Fairy Tower Ultra just stuck, and I just kept taking knockouts all and over. So, I went all two on one. That was another great win there. Round four, I played against. Oh, no, that was round four, I'm sorry. Round three, I played against an Ultra Necrozma deck. 
I kept taking out knockouts. He kept missing. With, I kept putting hands on Guillotine. Uh, what was it called? Jackson Zabali. I was very far ahead. He did take one prize. He did. Um. Um. Scott Coach like my uh, my bench. He took five prizes that one turn, but he was still for for one time I took that one last one prize. He, he called a judge that that was scheduled all the all the recycle engines would not go back to my hand, but the, we call a judge and the recycle engines do go back to my hand because they are the being scored when they got knocked out. So I won game one that way. Game two, it was very down to the wire. He went for broke. He attached three energy to an ultra across my GX. And they try to go for the uh, post and guys to hang his last two prizes, but he flips the heads. And he misses. So I took the, took the last triple acceleration energy and I knocked out his last ultra months of So I went. 301. I thought I was going. I was really confident about the decks from from the beginning, from those last four wins. Modifier I played against. I think that was a ultra. It was a Malamar deck, and I pretty much dead. I only started one basic both games, and that was quick quick rounds that way. So I lost that time. Uh, well, since I played against a dark box deck, another dark box deck, pretty much he um. He got he got set up really quickly. I cut from the tails at the wrong times when when we got the ability. So I'm now three two one. And then my final round I played against uh, another Ultra Necrozma deck, Malamud deck. As again I started with only one basic, both games, and he was able to take quick knockouts. He knocked out my Ditto with uh he this called give it here, put this is the sorcery one and he knocked it out with Mew actually with uh the psych power to put three damage counters on that on that Pokemon. It was only basic Pokemon. Only my basic Pokemon left on the game. I dead you. Alright, so that was day one. I went through day one. I did okay. I had a lot of fun playing this deck when it sets up, so it's pretty awesome. So I hope I get. I was hoping for day two I could get at least some points. I go. I go. We want to we play two more rounds after that, so I hopefully get those last two wins. So round eight, I play against another Bicephalon GX deck. Uh, round one. I got very Patrol Ultra Beast stuck in the whole time and I kept taking knockouts. Round 2 also did the same thing. Fairy Patrol Ultra Beast stuck and I, w I was able to win both games. Then round 9 I played against Picaram. My last, my last one I played against Picaram. Picaram Zach Ram. Both games I only started with one basic. And I, he was able to take the both games. So, I went 4-4-1. I finished 215 points out of 624 players. We got too bad. I finished more than a half. But I didn't really judge what I probably would have won more games. But I had a lot of fun playing this deck. I think this is my deck going to the next season. Hopefully I can get to the Wolves in London next year and hopefully get the invite. So now, let's get the game. Let's get on to the game with this deck. Let's hopefully see if I get one of this deck right here. Let's hope not dead draw. Uh, I'll be able to leave Charles coming today. I'll be playing the same deck with the same exact list. So hopefully I do good today as well. Hopefully I can start that 3 0 game win streak in, in the DC Open. I'll be playing against that back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 playing a water deck. So he's going to flip the coin first. Turn the music here because I don't really like the music that much. It distracts. Okay, I do lose the coin first, so I'll be definitely be going second, I think. Yep. Let's see how open a hand. Okay, this is not too bad. Oh, well, you have a base, that's a mullet, so I get an extra card. I can play all these cards down then literally for hopefully like four or five cards. We'll take a look to see what he's playing. Okay, so this looks like oh, this is the side of Slowpoke deck. I take two mullet, which is good. So the Slowpoke is an attack, uh, new attack team. It does 40 damage for each energy uh, for each uh, support you discard. Hello? What happened? No, I think I might have one. I have to check. Yes. Thank you. Bye. What's up? Okay, I got you. I got you. Bye. Alright, folks, sorry for that. My lord just, just called me about my link challenge. I needed two extra points on 60 HP. Porygons. So he calls trainer with Rouse to draw two cards, but if he had a tag team play, he draws two more cards. He's a boy you find my uns. So he probably gets to discard the Tapu Fini. Put it back last place. Lapis has a ability called Memory's Call. You search for Mr. Tarry's Discard Party, put it back to your hand. So he drops the Lapis and he passes. So it's my turn now. Let's see what I get. I got a custom catcher. So I'm going to one of those lab. I'm definitely going to play two custom catchers so he won't attack this turn. He has to retreat and attack again. I'll try to, uh, uh, light energy to a little. I'll literally for four. Oh, he's got to do two more Pokemon. That's not too bad. I have the Pokemon for the next turn. So I'm just going to switch into one of the Pokemon because I don't want this Ditto getting knocked out. I'll... It's your turn. Let's see what he does. 
Hope this lab is slowing down. Next time we'll put uh Pokemon Corny Hole get a good support like Cynthia. That's the one I really would prefer I want. So I don't think uh Slide Pot Slowpot does not play any stadiums. So let's hope in this one in lab with six. So he will need to attack with three water engines down too. Here's the side of slope, if you guys want to see it. As the digit slides us 40 times for each support you discard. So he tries to add energy to the side of Slowpoke. He's going to miss the failure of service to those three supporters. I, definitely, I think I might reset him, his, them, that, him now. So he's going to search the cold fair and two more miss these failures. Mr. Fair is a new supporter. says you can search the three supporter cards and put it into your hand. Okay, he passes again. Let's see, I got oh, two Pokemon, even better. So that's Pokemon number one. I got the Cyndia that I need. That's good. I'm going to touch a unit energy. Uh, bet, I'm, going to the I'm going to Cyndia for six. Let's see with my hand. I got the Wounds of Cuts. Good. All right. So next time I'll be having an attack. This oh, I'm going to have the Fortune to pass again. May I play the Pokemon here again to hopefully draw into another um, Cynthia. Because this point I'll definitely want to want over these two supporters. So you got a Cherish Ball. So if there's no new item required, so just for a GX to put it to your hand. So just for another side of Slowpoke. So communication by to discard uh middle side by Slowpoke. And get another Lapis into play, so you get another Mystic Favor again. Okay, so he attaches a third energy to the side of Slowpoke. Now you have to tell you have to tackle the third edge thanks to the one in this labyrinth over here. You gotta score two supports to knock out my side my uh support now. So you're gonna take Liza. Using the switch effect to switch to the side of Slobo. So maybe it's called playing the player back. And you're gonna do this pass for the scoring two support. It's going for 80 damage. It's fine. Can score two more two misty favors. Take her prize. But before the Rosicard GX, so what I draw, I draw into another hospitality. I'm going to try to kill the color colors. I'm going to the poke here again. I'm not going to take the Lily. I'll lose it for three. I, I, I always got to get the same amount of cards. The energy poke goes to the end of Cynthia, okay? So I'm going to just attack with energy play. Okay, he has to discard five supports to knock out this thing. Thanks to the lap, but hopefully he's gonna, he's gonna have to, he has to flip tails here. So he's gonna come to for another side of Slowpoke. So what's he gonna do? Try to water to the bench side of Slowpoke. Probably see a couple of mermaids calls here to get my support. He's gonna coach trainers, drawing four cards. Okay. On the power play. Awesome. It goes through the ones that caught a fortune one. And I power play. I'm going to take one. Okay. So if I draw a right hand and triple color, I can knock out this fire slow poke. He probably has five supports. I don't want to see why he wouldn't have five. I'm gonna get a red candy here or something. Which I just go back to my hand, which is good. Takes two prizes. Look what I got here. I got a Lily, which is Lily's pretty much dead. I'm gonna reset him down to three cards. Well, we have no basic so I can stay alive. I'm gonna attach his cycle to the axis and run to some deal for six. Mm, red and the oh, I can attack this turn, that's good. Which I, might, I just might have to do at this point. What about the point on C? I'm going to crazy code to the two units. I'm gonna take a knockout tantrum. I'm gonna have to go on the field just fine. Let's take three prizes. We'll cut the X. We don't need. Red candy could be useful. And triple celery, okay. What's up?
Qualquer um falou. Fala, vou falar com o meu gato. Só que eu vou falar com o outro e ela sai da sua boca. Vamos ver o que vai acontecer. 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 400 damage each way, but if you have a, if your ball has ultra beast, it does. It just counts as color versus instead of five uh, psychics. Okay, so let's see. He's from also low, last one. Yes, yes, two in the square. Oh, you got four, so you just have to take a knockout here. My end here, folks. It's like all, more, all four Misty Spheres. And then they just passed by discarding all those four Misty Spheres you just got back. That's only a booster coming down to two. And this part's out of the Porygon. So I, draw, I draw a Porygon two. I pretty much did lose this game for so far. I'm going to down to two. I'm gonna multiply Porygon 2. I'm gonna double drop with two cards. So I'm there because unfortunately I lost this game, so I'm sorry. But hopefully you show how the deck works. And stay tuned, you're just bringing out those things in the face and knock me out with Digital Splash. Turn the water to the Lapras, we're gonna call. I'm gonna hopefully take most of our heads with on the Limited Pot. Well, Paul got stood, so I had no ability, so it's... But I have to play my six drone one close out of my Lily. Okay, that's close. This one's wrong, you only have to score two, enemies, two of them. But you probably have to score, of course, and do maximum damage. Yep. Alright, there you go, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank <laughs> you.